I believe that we, if we're going to get our country to work, each one of us has to take a very personalized approach to what is it? What kind of country do I want? And what is my role in creating it? Don't outsource the responsibility. Take it personally. Influence the people around you to deliver the kind of country that you want. The other, uh, I think, characteristics of where we are today are very easy because it's all kind of material things, physical things, things we can see. It's all around us. But I think I want to move now to that. How did we end up here? What happened? What happened? How did we end up? It didn't just happen. In life, there is nothing that just is. There is always a pre-action, or lack of action for that matter, which explains why we end up here. Either we choose not to act, like choose not to vote, that is got a consequence. Or choose to vote for the wrong person, that is got a consequence. But what are the key elements that have led us to be where we are? I think they are the corruption is one of them. I hope that I don't need to expound on that. Corruption has deprived us as a nation of resources that would have gone into making our environment a beautiful country. That's, I think, straightforward. Things that are not so clear to people often are things I've mentioned before. Nepotism, chronism, and patronage is the second group of things. You know, what interests me and what fascinates me a bit is that I think, and you might find this shocking, I think we as a people, because of the extended family socialization, are actually susceptible to corruption. I hope you read it. I think we, as a people, because of the extended family socialization, are susceptible to corruption. What do I mean? If he is my brother, and he is not my father, and he's qualified to do a job. In other words, the guy who is not my brother is qualified to do a job, but my brother is my responsibility. In our socialization, I've got a responsibility to give him a job. That's where we come from. And I don't think it's a problem as such. If we sit down, it, so it's not a problem in so far as I do not want us to feel guilty about it. I just want us to understand where the problem is coming from so that we can change our behavior. If I'm a head of state, all we need to do is for us to recast what my brother means. How can I be a head of state and a defined brotherhood and exclude someone? That is a contradiction. If I'm a head of state, everybody in the country, every citizen becomes my tribe. And once I recast that way, actually this problem does not arise. But if I'm not thoughtful enough, I will continue to behave in a manner that we see every day. When I'm looking for people to employ, I look at my limited tribe, not my newly defined, expanded tribe. These and other stories visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat. And like our Facebook page, 263 Chats.